Hey everybody and welcome to yet another semi-special episode of The Binding of Isaac. I say semi-special because it is just going to be a vanilla run, so why don't we get started here by just randoming. And we'll random Isaac, that is a good way uh, to start the day, I would say. Um, but, it's special because we got the Twitch chat, so say hello Twitch chat! Why? I never learn that you're not supposed to actually solicit things from the Twitch chat, because when you solicit something you say like, Say hello Twitch chat! Fucking a thousand people say hello. It's like when uh, on the Northern Lion Live Super Show when Josh says, you know, put hearts in the chat. I'm like, Josh, don't tell them to do that. They'll actually do that. You you have influence beyond which you understand. And then, of course, now I've accidentally uh, gone down this meta path myself. It's like a Christopher Nolan movie. I don't even know, man. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I had a good experience last time playing The Binding of Isaac with the Twitch chat. We had people here who understand what's up with the game, who gave me uh, a little bit of advice. Not that I don't understand what's up with the game, but I'm... Like that guy, you know, I'm like the old guy in a company, you know, maybe we work at like an, an IT firm or something, and I was one of the founders in like the 70s, and uh, I'm just, I make my way through the business with experience and intuition, and then there's some, like, 12 year old hotshot who comes in who's like, I've got an Ivy League education, and now I'm your boss, and th this is the plot of the movie that we have going on here. Anyway, uh, I got uh, the virus in the first item room here, that is uh, an item that I don't necessarily consider that amazing. Uh, but it grows in value as the game goes on, especially if we manage to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Plus, you know, with the D6, we were about to have an opportunity to get a reroll uh, on this boss if the item that he gives me sucks, so I am excited uh, about the possibility of making this work. So again, we have the Twitch chat rolling in there. Um, feel free to enjoy their comments and, uh, you know, participate in live backseat gaming with them. This is streaming live at twitch.tv slash northernline. If you don't know what that is, I would encourage you to uh, pay attention to some people Including myself, in fact, primarily myself. Don't pay attention to anybody else. Except for the Twitch chat, which I just told you to pay attention to. Okay, Cat and Nine Tails. I'm gonna reroll the shit out of that and get a range upgrade and uh, question everything I've ever done in my life. And then go downwards. Alright. And uh, unfortunately, I, I, thought, I thought we were gonna get the pink wrench there, but we actually didn't. So, people are asking, is there a chance that I'll play Rogue Legacy on stream today? That's probably unlikely, just because I don't want to uh, accidentally... Uh, make a ton of progress in the Rogue Legacy Let's Play while it's on stream. I'd rather just do it in a different uh, context. I'd rather just do it, like, not live, if that makes any sense at all. But anyway, let's move forwards. This is uh, the moment of truth and reckoning, I would say, for our uh, The Binding of Isaac run. Uh, primarily what I mean by that, of course, is the fact that we have zero keys and lots of places to use them. So, uh, obviously, if, if we had to kind of quantify it, or well, not quantify necessarily, but rank it, uh, that item room is definitely high up there, because I don't really have that much money to make the shop super viable, and, uh, D6 is probably better than whatever we could get from the library, but I could re-roll the items from the library as well, and potentially pick up some decent stuff. Um, let's just see here. Maybe we will get a key from this room, maybe we'll get a key from this boss. I am amazed with myself, and this is minor victories, but, uh, you know, that's basically what the subtitle of my book would be, Northern Lion, Minor Victories, The Northern Lion Story. Yes, I'm not the greatest titler of all time. Um, but, uh, the fact that I dodged there was really amazing. Okay, so we have Larry Jr. If I had to guess, uh, I would probably give us, like, a 20% odds of, of getting a key, uh, over the course of the rest of this floor. We're already basically done with it. We don't even have a bomb, which is unfortunate, because there might be a key, uh, within that tinted rock that's back there. So I, I would ideally, uh, like to be able to at least get one of the two. At least I can go to the secret room. Maybe via the secret room I could bomb my way into the library, but we'll see what we get from our boss room here. Um... Think about this. In all likelihood, we'll end up with some kind of base attribute up, like a tiers or a speed or a range, uh, or you know, a damage if, if that would be uh, possible would be amazing. And then possibly a deal with the devil if I'm uh, lucky enough to not take any damage. And I do say lucky because uh, at this point, uh, I don't think skill is going to carry me. I'm thankful I did get a spirit heart out of the poop there. Ah, I did take damage, but poison touch did a ton of damage to him as well. I still think I might qualify for a deal with the devil. Odds are just decreased, and we did get an HP upgrade, which I am not going to reroll. Um, no matter what the circumstances, but hey, let's just, uh, check out the, the deal with the devil first. Okay! This is a good start. We got Mom's Knife. And it's tempting in this situation to roll with Guppy's Paw as well. Hmm. Let me think about this. Okay, so l let's go with Guppy's Paw, and we'll get real crazy right off the bat here. So, uh, I, I will take the HP upgrade, because of course I can turn that into Spirit Hearts. We still don't have any bombs, uh, or keys, uh, and I, I... Probably, I'm trying to think, I guess I might as well use the Guppy's Paw right away, but... Actually, you know what? We're supposed to keep the, um... Just, 
I, I went through this once before in a video. I apologize for my inarticulateness right now, um, which might be ironic because I'm not sure that's really a word, but, uh, and, you know, it might not really be ironic, but in the Alanis Morissette, you know, McDonald's Happy Meal definition of irony, it might be ironic. But I, I had this happening in an earlier episode, uh, and I think that the mistake that I made in that episode was that I used the guppy's paw way too often, and I really should stick with uh, heart containers for a little while, uh, just in case I want to use those to get a deal with the devil, like Spirit of the Night, for example. Obviously, you know, I'm super psyched to be fighting the Fallen on the third floor. This is potentially incredibly good for me. Um, that was a lucky dodge, but you know, Isaac historically has been uh, incredibly lucky for me uh, this early on in the game. Now, I probably should, uh, or uh, yeah, the Binding of Isaac of the game, I should say. Um, just trying to think. Yeah, I'm going to keep this heart container around for now. The only reason I'm keeping it around for now... Uh, is because I might be able to use it to deal with the devil later. That's what I'm trying to articulate uh, over the course of the past, like, two minutes. Very inefficiently. We're getting some bombs now. Of course, we want to get keys. I don't necessarily need... Uh, Alright, the judgment might actually give us an out uh, to use our money for something. Oh, we actually are going to get a key as well. And we're going to get judgment, so... Um, or, and we're going to be able to use judgment, so I'm, I'm happy we got that key. We'll at least be able to pick up some more items. Not that I necessarily need them right now. I mean, we did just pick up two amazing items. I have no idea uh, whether... The uh, mark that we just picked up actually gives you benefits when you have Mom's Knife. I'm assuming it does. Well, there's a free bomb right there. Uh, we're going to pick up another key as a result of that, so that's fantastic. That'll give us a little bit of future-proofing on this run. Uh, and I'm excited that uh, so far this has gone really, really well. I don't know what it is, but historically there has been a uh, precedent, at least with streaming, where the first episode turns out exceptionally well uh, with respect to the random number generator making me very, very lucky. Now, let's hope uh, the trend continues with Judgment here. I don't have any more bombs with which to access a secret room, so I really needed him to pay out, and that is basically uh, three extra spirit hearts there. Uh, let's go down and, uh, well, I mean, I could play Demon Judgment as well, which is really tempting. We got the Miter, as I, I can't even complain uh, about anything on this run so far. We have Mom's Knife, we have uh, the Mark, and we have Guppy's Paw, and, uh, you know, the HP upgrade from Judgment, and of course the Miter as well. Let's see what Demon Judgment is going to pay out with. Well, two more spirit hearts, exceptionally valuable, obviously, because I am basically eventually going to be rolling permanently on Spirit Hearts. Uh, and nothing else from this guy, but that's okay. I'm excited so far. Um, and we do have enough HP, I believe, to take us back to normal. Now, or, you know, full. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this Hermit card to do something useful, but for now, uh, I guess it is just down to the next floor. Pretty excited that we uh, are as powerful as we are after the caves part two. There's another judgment, so if I get more money, I'll be able to use it on him, but we might as well check our shop as well uh, if we manage to find the secret room and get enough money to, to make that worthwhile, which we have not so far, uh, but our item room contains Little Chubby, which is kind of a nice interaction with Mom's knife, I guess. The, the cool thing about this is that I can hold Mom's knife to charge it down, and Little Chubby will still shoot simultaneously. That is also a really good trinket to have in this situation. Um, so yes, I, I can have Little Chubby almost being like a, uh, a continuously firing thing. Well, not continuously firing, but as continuously firing as it can be. Uh, let's go back up here and check out our... Oh, I've already been to the item room, so I would say we should just go down and uh, fight our boss right away. Again, I'm going to turn these HP upgrades into Spirit Hearts eventually, uh, but for now, I'm saving them just in case we get like a Spirit of the Night or something like that. I mean, the fact that I now know uh, that the Hero Fawn is in the rotation makes me a little bit less concerned about our... Uh, health concerns moving forwards, not to mention, of course, the fact that I also have uh, the, the miter, which should be able to give me uh, an absolute metric fuckton, and that is a, a real imperial measurement, even though I said metric, um, of uh, spirit hearts moving forward. So Super Envy is likely going to give me an attack fly, if I had to guess. Uh, at least with the precedent that we've set with our luck so far, I would not be surprised if we got it. Of course, not to fall into, like, a gambler's fallacy or anything like that, but still, I would not be surprised. Sometimes it seems like uh, maybe I'm trying to make uh, order from chaos in my mind here, but it seems like there are precedents for that in Isaac. But hey, there you go. I didn't get the uh, what I suggested that I might get, so I guess we will just move onwards. I would love to get uh, the ability to fly or the ladder right now. That's really all that's holding me back uh, because I'm missing a lot of consumables. That could oh, I almost got hit there. That could make it uh, amazing for me moving forward. So yes, uh, to answer the questions in the chat, I realize I am extraordinarily powerful right now. Uh, that was awful damage to take, and I am extremely thankful for that. So. Not the damage, of course. I'm extremely thankful for the uh, the items that I've gotten so far, because it's not necessarily r rare to have a good run in the Binding of Isaac, uh, but it's rare to have a good run like this right off the bat, on only the fourth floor here, uh, and not only that, but uh, it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. I'm not sure if you knew that. Um, 
It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a rarity, but uh, I'm not going to continue with that Tom Jones song, because he strikes me as the kind of guy who uh, might get a big heart on out of uh, butt-fucking you to death with copyright. Anyway, we're going to come down here. Uh, there shouldn't be too many rooms left. I'm just, I, I apparently I've become uh, so brash and brave that I am just running into enemies to kill them. Keep in mind, I do have Poison Touch, so once we actually get the Polaroid and manage to get uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility, we should absolutely be destroying enemies. I mean, if we, we, we probably won't take an, a strategy of, like, deliberately getting hit, at least not very often, but when we do get hit by accident, we should be able to basically clear out uh, entire rooms very, very quickly. Don't tell me to go to the curse room, fuckers! I'm nipping it in the bud here already. Uh, we're gonna get another Spirit Heart thanks to the Miter. Four cents, unlikely to be enough to help us uh, with the shop, but I will live dangerously and instead... Why am I taking strength? I want to take the Hermit card instead. I'm not going to the curse room. I'm going to Judgment instead. It's the thing with the, the Twitch chat is that, you know, there's some backseat gameplay and I appreciate that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here in this situation. Um, but by the same token, I'm playing my own game for now, largely because uh, there's like a five to six second delay. Uh... I don't think there's much, I guess there is kind of a point in using the Hermit card right away, just in case there is a, uh, a greed in the shop. And if there is a greed in the shop, then I'll get some money back and I'll be able to use that on Judgment. Uh, so there is, I think this almost has to be the secret room in this situation. Alright, uh, maybe it's one more down, this will be like my fourth, uh, item. Oh, apparently the secret room cannot be next to the boss room, I knew I kept you guys around for something. There's another nine cents. Uh, all of a sudden, the Hermit card seems way more valuable. And there is a ladder in there, so if I didn't spend the money, it would have been okay. But now I don't have to spend a, uh, a key to get in there if I can just manage to get a little bit more money back. This is probably not the uh, best min-maxing to do with respect to either getting something from the item room or the... Uh, or sorry, from the shop or from Judgment here. Uh, but that's okay. Even if we don't get the ladder, we should at least get something from Judgment paying out. Uh, even if it is only more spirit hearts. Uh, wow, holy water. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up, and I know people are gonna be pissed off, but does this change Little Chubby into, uh, Brother Bobby? This is what I'm waiting for. I'm gonna take a, a quick chat, or a quick, uh, coffee break here. It shouldn't, people are saying. For one room it will. Don't take it. Reroll, oh wait, get strength for Guppy's paw. Oh, that actually seems like a smart idea. It won't, okay. That's fine. Uh, so I'm, I'm okay with getting holy water, even though it's obviously not the best item for us at all. Now, uh, here's an interesting point. People are saying, get the strength card, and then use it, and then use Guppy's Paw. And I think that just gave me a free three spirit hearts. So thank you, uh, by the way, for those of you in the uh, chat who just pointed that out. You helped me out a great deal. Now, we have some good keys here. Uh, or a good amount of keys, I should say, and, uh, obviously, from a damage standpoint, we're doing fantastically. From a health standpoint, uh, we're doing fine. I, I would welcome some more, uh, but let's move onwards. Oh, God, what happened? It didn't work? Did you guys troll the shit out of me? I lost a heart out of that. You motherfuckers. This is why I can't trust these guys, man. And people wonder why I don't listen to the comments that I get on my Isaac videos. Uh, I will open this golden chest just because we have the keys necessary to kind of justify it. Got a little bit more money, a key, and a bomb out of it. Oh, that's not great damage, but thankfully, uh, holy water here. I just got a new item in my inventory. Uh, I wonder if that's a trading card for the Binding of Isaac. For those of you who are not familiar, a bunch of new, uh, games got Steam trading card access yesterday. Binding of Isaac was one of them, which is awesome. Uh, I'm sure probably everybody watching this right now that owns the game will have all the trading cards in, like, a week at most. Uh, there's also trading cards for Crusader Kings 2, and I can't wait to see the fucking designs for those. I bet it looks hilarious. Uh, let's move onwards. Uh, we have no interest in that fortune teller yet. Uh, at least, it's not a good value proposition with what I have here. So, in hindsight, I definitely would have preferred to have a ladder now, because it probably would have, uh, made it possible for me to go to shops in the future. Uh, anyway, I guess, uh, here's the thing, when people are saying I got trolled by that strength card, I, I did in a way, because I thought it would be like a free three spirit hearts, but in the other way, I mean, I did still get three spirit hearts for the cost of that heart container, which is the, the standard value proposition. It's like saying, hey man, go to McDonald's, order a Big Mac, I hear they're adding bacon to it this week, and then, you know, you get it, and you're like, there's no bacon on this, and you're like, gotcha, fucker, well, you still got a Big Mac, so, you know, it's a, it can't be that bad, you're better off than a lot of the world's population, aren't you? Uh, why don't we check out our shop here? I was kind of hoping to fight Greed so we'd be able to get this extra money, and, uh, that was obviously a very easy fight there. We do now have enough money to go to the shop, hopefully we manage to, um go to the next shop. I mean, it's possible that it'll have Super Greed in it. I think it's pretty rare uh, for two Greeds to show up uh, consecutively. Oh my god, this dodging, man. 
What can I say? My brain's still a little bit turned off. I am a recent uh, convert to the world of the waking here. Uh, which is my very kind of obtuse way of saying I just woke up recently. Yeah, with 24 cents, uh, we want to come across another judgment? That would be fantastic. I hate mom's knife when it comes to the zombies. I mean, it's good, but at the same time, it's also worrying. Uh, the Ace of Spades has done basically nothing for me so far. I would love to get a Joker card, because again, if I get an HP upgrade Joker card, Spirit of the Night, uh, I don't see us losing this run, especially when we already have the Mitre associated with us as well. Uh, we get another half red heart, which I can't use just yet. Uh, and we'll see what we've got. So, the boss room or the item room has to be down here. Demon Judgment, this is one of the unfortunate realities, I guess, of, uh, yeah, we'll open it up. And it's an HP upgrade, fantastic. One of the unfortunate realities of dealing with uh, such low health and, you know, the Guppy's Paw situation uh, is that we will not really be able to have that much health to play Demon Judgment. Play with Demon Judgment? Play Demon Judgment with? I don't know, the conjugation there is strange. The phrasing, at least, not probably literally conjugation. Uh, okay. Now, I'm thinking of using the world card here just to find the uh, secret room. Ghost Baby is a totally A-OK -okay pickup. Why don't we go to our boss room first, just in case we earn a deal with the devil. Uh, we should be able to kill Monster 2 in... Um, oh my god, the fact that I got hit by a fly there... I mean, it's still gonna be a, a positive boss fight, but that was the only thing that basically could have stopped me here, and it did. And we get another HP upgrade and another deal with the devil, uh, and... Here we have Krampus, which is good, I think, uh, because it does, uh, and Bisnap and Cobalt maybe in the chat can confirm this, but I believe it does give you a straight damage upgrade, uh, or, or a scaling damage upgrade with uh, Mom's Knife. So, uh, what else do we have here? Well, we have a lot of HP now. It's, apparently it's 2 plus damage, uh, and we'll uh, see what Demon Judgment can give us here. So just don't accidentally blow him up here. Uh, that uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's, oh my god, okay. I, I don't want to accidentally kill Demon Judgment. This should be close enough. Okay. And we'll try this again. Uh, thankfully, we got that Holy Water proc. That's obviously going to do something for... It would be good if Holy Water also gave us, like, a certain percentage chance to get a Spirit Heart. But otherwise, I don't like it at all. Uh, and obviously, you know, it's not a fan favorite either. All right. You didn't pay out. But uh, I am in a position, especially with this much uh, health remaining, that I can basically just continually run into this guy and uh, see if I can get something from him. Uh, let us go up and to the right, where there's probably a couple more rooms left over for us. Uh, and at the very least, uh, I think, as as mentioned in chat, uh, Mom's Knife does provide, or d does benefit from a, an, a, a damage increase when you pick up Lump of Coal. But even if it didn't, it also gets, like, this cool, like, coalish skin on it, which is nice. It's like a cosmetic item, even if it didn't do anything for us. We accidentally found the second secret room. That is an eternal heart. I am going to cream my jeans. It is, um... At this point, though, I think we have to leave, because uh, if we play Demon Judgment anymore, I'm pretty confident that uh, this will actually just take my eternal heart away, so I should just go down to the next floor. Uh... So sure, I definitely do not want the umbilical cord. Instead, we'll go down to the depths part two. We will get our Polaroid from the mom's heart boss fight, or sorry, the mom boss fight, and then I will start basically just spamming Guppy's paw because at that point I don't really need uh, the red heart containers, and we'll have permanent Polaroid invincibility. And believe it or not, even if we don't really amass that much, we might actually be stronger than we were before. I can't even stress the the luck that we're getting here to get the uh, HP upgrade in like two plays on the blood bank. Uh, but what can I say? Been one of those days so far. We have Guppy's Paw and uh, the Mitre. Five Red Heart containers, not to mention Spirit Hearts, definitely off the screen at this point. Uh, this is crazy luck so far, not to mention, you know, Mom's Knife. The Mark, uh, the Empress is a decent card. I should probably use the World card before the Empress card, or maybe I should use the Empress card in a room and save the World card for uh, the Cathedral or something, because I do uh, like to speed through those floors when I'm given the opportunity to do so. We picked up Homing Bombs, not necessarily the best item that we could get at this point in the game. Now we should definitely trade a bomb for a key. Um, yeah, not necessarily the best item we could get at this point in the game, but it's fine as well. Um, careful here. Uh, it's good because, not necessarily because of the homing bombs, but because I have had a fairly low, uh, amount of bombs over the course of this run, so the ability to get more feels good. Now, we do have our boss room, but, uh, I would be absolutely batshit insane if I didn't go to the shop here, given that I complained about not being able to go to the shop all game. Uh, and this is, like, our one opportunity to actually buy an item. So there's one terminal here with Tom Hanks. Uh, and we'll move onwards here. Who else was in the terminal with Tom Hanks? Was that... It was... Catherine Zeta-Jones, I believe. She dips beneath the lasers. Now, 
Uh, we'll go up into the right side here. We're still looking for a shop. It's possible that there might be a librarian. Uh, and if there is, I would, uh, at this point, possibly consider giving up Guppy's Paw for, like, a Book of Belial or something like that. Uh, that probably wasn't worth it. Uh, but maybe we'll get a consumable, like, a key or something when we finish. Uh, but yes, if we manage to pick up a, uh... Careful. If we manage to pick up, uh, like a book of Belial or something in the library, kind of a long shot. I don't even know if there's a library on this floor. Uh, but if there is, uh, book of Belial for Guppy's Paw could be a good trade if I end up getting rid of, uh, all of these red hearts in exchange for spirit hearts and then just move onwards. Uh, and, uh, let's continue down here. And on the left side, I imagine, up here we will probably... Oh, careful here. I don't know if anybody else runs into this problem when they play Isaac, but when I use an item like Brimstone or Mom's Knife uh, or Chocolate Milk and I'm charging a shot, my keyboard, like, loses its, uh, or it gains latency or something like that. Again, I'm not a computer guy, so I don't really know uh, if that is accurate or if that's, like, my mom saying, use the Google or something. Uh, but... It, like, when I'm holding my arrow keys, I can't move as effectively. So I think we should definitely buy the Spirit Heart in this situation. Uh, I think we should, uh, buy the key. I'm not gonna buy Book of Revelations, because I don't want it. Uh, I would rather... I mean, I, I don't want the Spirit Hearts, but, uh... I don't want to end up fighting death on the next floor just to get a single cube of meat, even though, you know, we might end up having to do that next anyway. Uh, and I'm not going to gain that many Spirit Hearts. I would rather kind of save up for a better item. And keep in mind, you know, it might seem like this is a really uh, silly decision on my part, but even if we get one HP upgrade, uh, if I hold on to Gubby's Paw instead of going with Book of Revelations, that's akin to, like, 18 rooms of Book of Revelations use. So, um, I, I think it it's a gamble to a certain extent. It's a safe gamble. Not necessarily because the odds are in my favor, but because we're already so strong that even if we lose this, it probably won't matter. Uh, but I think that is what I'm going to do for now, but anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, now, just continue onwards. I am taking... The, it's a testament to how strong this run is, that I'm taking a lot of uh, really, really stupid damage, but I'm not even in a threatened position at all. I mean... Keep in mind that we are going to get... Okay, I guess I'll pop the world card now. Uh, keep in mind that we are going to get uh, at least... 15 spirit hearts by the end of this floor uh, and permanent Polaroid invincibility after that So I definitely doubt that uh, we're in a tough position for now. It's seeming pretty likely uh, That well at the very least it's a guarantee that we're gonna beat um, Mom and mom's heart. I would say Isaac you probably have like a 95% chance and then blue baby maybe becomes more of a crapshoot, but uh we're, we're in a very good position for now, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not going to take the blood bag. I, I realize I have the HP necessary to do that right now, but the blood bag is such a worse value proposition than the uh, IV bag. Sorry, the, the IV bag is such a worse value proposition than the blood bank. I always get my uh, nomenclature confused. Devil card, Empress card, for whatever. Let's roll with the devil card. Uh, I can't remember. This doesn't provide any extra damage to uh, Epic Fetus or Fetus in a Jar, as we learned last time. Ah, people are right, by the way. Pick it up and then put it back down. Apparently, the Empress adds more damage, uh, so my bad, but uh, we're going to roll forward with this anyway. Uh, I am good to go here. That is a world card, which actually, you know what? Since we're doing so much damage, I would rather take the world card with us into the boss fight, simply so that we could speed through uh, one of the later floors a little bit faster. Don't miss the secret room. I did use the world card. You are correct. Thank you for that uh, in the chat. I, I can't look at your name right now. Crumbling crud. Sounds like it could be a, a lyric in, like, a 1930s Tin Pan Alley song or something. Uh, we get another six cents, and with 45 cents, this isn't really that beneficial for us. But we have seen a lot of judgments uh, over the course of this game so far. Uh, and that's good. You know, it, judgments, I, I prefer them to shops for the most part, because they have a tendency to give HP upgrades. Blue Mom is, uh, you know, as we found out in one of the last ones, uh, or the, the last, like, Twitch Isaac episode, Objectively, probably the most difficult uh, boss fight, as objective as can be in a game like this, anyway. Uh, and we get the crate, which is actually great, because it gives me a uh, spirit heart, as well as um, the moon, which we don't want. Rusty key, which I can't really take, but the regular key, which I definitely can. And, uh, yes. Okay, so let's go crazy here. In fact, you know, it's we're actually not going to... I mean, I could use the moon and then get out of there. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to take a sip of coffee and then go through my, um, through my dialogue here, or my mental dialogue. So, um, I could go, uh, use Guppy's Paw and get a ton of Spirit Hearts right now. This would give us permanent Polaroid invincibility on the next floor. Or, uh, I could... Wait a minute, what's Biznap saying? Teleport out of this room, and then you might come back in and get a chance for a deal with the devil. With the moon card. Okay, so let's try that. Let's give it a, the old college try. I'll stop my uh, other 
uh, dialogue there. Okay, so we've managed to go to the secret room. That's okay. I'm a little sorry I wasted a bomb to get there now, but let's try and see if we get a deal with the devil room now. I've never done this before, so it works. But yes, uh, when I was saying Blue Mom is the most difficult uh, of the moms f or uh, of the f boss fights, I meant uh, the most difficult of the mob boss fights. Not the most difficult of the uh, all the boss fights in the game, because obviously that would be silly. Uh, we did earn a deal with the devil here, Bitsnap, you beautiful man, and we got Spirit of the Night as well. Alright, that all credit goes to YouTube.com slash Bitsnap for that one. Uh, and we will take the, uh, world card with us. And I'm not gonna take the pill, I'm just gonna go down to the next floor instead. Uh, we're on Utero 1, I'm not gonna use the world card yet, I'm gonna save it for now. And it should be very easy for us to, uh, find our boss room. Well, find, maybe not, but get to, absolutely. It might take us a little while. Uh, but our chances of death are, uh, borderline zero here, I would say. Functionally, probably zero. Key is beneficial. Uh, and... Just murdered this dude with mom's knife in a single hit. That, uh, turret was not obeying the Geneva Convention, which, frankly, I just find disrespectful at this point. We, we've been playing this game so long together, turrets, and you still do not have a, a mutual respect for me. I have a mutual respect for you, I mean, I might call you a motherfucker behind your back, but... You know, it's not like I slept with your wife or anything, I mean, who would? Uh, what do we have in our secret room? Teleport, not really that tempted. Uh, I mean, it, it could be interesting if we got rid of Guppy's Paw and then use Teleport for it, but, uh, you know, whatever. Not that interested. Could actually, it, it could do more harm than good, but it could also teleport us directly to boss rooms, which would be awesome. Uh, but again, the reason I'm not getting rid of, uh, Guppy's Paw yet is because we do still have one more item to drop, uh, from the... Uh, boss room on this floor. So if we get an HP upgrade, I'd hate to be with us and possibly make it so... Uh, well, I guess I just wouldn't pick it up, but if I picked it up, I'd lose that potential for permanent Polaroid invincibility. So, I'm being prudent with that for now, even though, um, it might be a little annoying. We have reached yet another dead end, but we're probably at least halfway through this floor by now. Uh, so I don't anticipate too much in the way of trouble coming out. Ignoring the pills, just because, you know, why take them at this point? We're in such a good position, uh, that it doesn't really matter. I'd rather not risk it, shall we say. So we'll come over here to the right, and then downwards, and uh, I really don't anticipate too much in the way of trouble on this floor. I mean, Spectral Tears doesn't benefit us, but that was actually a really good tip uh, to get that deal with the Devil Room uh, on the mom fight. Uh, and Spear of the Night was literally exactly what I asked for. You couldn't ask for a more perfect situation than that, uh, unless, you know, it, it, I hit the kill screen or something, and the game just uh, put my name in the credits. I don't understand. Uh, let's continue to get a chain reaction here. Free Spirit Art, free Secret Room. I have indeed have crazy luck uh, so far on this run. I'll admit, but I, I resent in the chat when people were like, he always has such crazy luck in, in Isaac. You should go check out some of the recent runs, like uh, I think I posted one yesterday called Seriously, uh, and it has like the worst luck I think I've ever had in the Binding of Isaac. Which, you know, the worst luck I've ever had in the Binding of Isaac, I only got Mom's Knife and Ipecac and Quatch. No, that didn't actually happen. It was actually just an incredibly long run where the game did me basically no personal favors. Uh, here is our boss fight, and we will see ourselves against Double Loki, which, uh, sometimes can be a little annoying, but in this situation, pretty sure we're gonna be able to, like, two-shot these guys. Uh, and, you know, apparently just run straight into Loki like an idiot. Now we only have a half Loki remaining. And, uh, we got a Spirit Heart from that. We will now use Guppy's Paw. I guess I have to use the Coin Purse in this situation, so let's see how this works out for us. The blue one could be good, uh... It's not, it's a health down, so I definitely won't be taking the other one there. That is really unfortunate. Bad trip, also not too excited about that. Bad gas! Th you fuckers wanted me to take all of those pills throughout the entirety of the game. Look what would've happened. Okay, so I'm not gonna take the other health down. Uh, we'll go to Utero 2 instead. And again, I'm, you're probably like, Northern Lion, why are you saving this world card? I'm saving it for the cathedral. Uh, because I think that is... I, I always, you know, there's probably a difference of opinion on this, but when I have good cards, I prefer to use them on uh, the Cathedral just to kind of guarantee my survival to get down to the chest, because the chest gives you four items automatically, uh, assuming you have the keys, of course, and, you know, sometimes those items are not very good, but, uh, it, you know, the potential to get great items there. Uh, whereas on the Cathedral, you're kind of just running off uh, exactly what you've got already. Uh, so I prefer... Oh, that is amazing, actually. Uh, the compass will eventually allow me to see which way I should be going here. Uh, I almost walked out of the room because I was like, Compass, that's not that valuable right now. Not true. Not true. Uh, but yes, I, I'm sure there's some people that prefer to use their cards on the chest because the chest is probably an objectively more difficult floor, especially based on the rooms uh, leading up to it. Now the bomb flies. Should allow me to kill Loki very quickly. As long as I stay away, then we're good. 
Uh, this isn't a boss trap room, this is a mob trap room, but because we're so late in the game, it becomes a boss trap room. Now, we will go up to the right there. Uh, and... I, it might be down and right, but it's probably just right, if I had to guess. I've been wrong many times before, probably like 45% of the time when I make this decision. Uh, but you know, never tell me the odds. In fact, even if you did tell me the odds, I would say, well, there's only two choices, so this is actually still seeming like a mathematically prudent decision, if you ask me. I got hit there, but I did get permanent Polaroid invincibility for the first time, and now we're seeing the other fringe benefit of this run. Which is the, the permanent Polaroid invincibility, plus the poison touch I got in the first item room, which is going to make it very easy. Uh, especially on this Isaac and Blue Baby fight for me to destroy these dudes. Now, we won't get anything from this boss fight. Uh, the Emperor card is actually probably more valuable uh, than the World card moving forward. We don't know what this pill does. Range up. Alright, that is like a damage increase for uh, Mom's Knife. So let me just make sure we got everything we need. Yes, I will use the Emperor card on the next floor. Uh, and we should be able to... Oh, that was real bad. But we should be able to kill Mom's Heart. Uh, very quickly. Recall that we have homing bombs as well, not to mention, you know, just insane damage. Um, and, of course, poison touch and whatnot, which is causing me... Well, not causing me, but uh, helping me since I... Excuse me, I lost my uh, tongue there for a second there. Uh, it's helping me do some damage, despite the fact that this is one of the worst uh, forms I've had in a mom's heart boss fight in a long, long time. I've been taking a staggering amount of damage when I really should not be. Just from being too aggressive, basically. Uh, yes, so we just go up to the next floor. I say we pop the Emperor card right away. Like so. Uh, and then... We... I'm gonna try to avoid taking damage here. I think by now the, the MO for this fight is pretty clear. Try to avoid taking damage, but if you do take damage, it might be kind of a, a happy accident because I'll be able to poison him and do so much damage with Mom's Knife uh, that he'll regret it, basically. Did I get hit again there? I think I did. Okay. That, but that's fine. Again, we still have Spirit Hearts crazy off the screen. Uh, and basically, one Spirit Heart equals one phase of Isaac's life, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll be able to kill these guys quickly. Actually, the Angel Fetuses are going to be the most annoying part of this. Uh, stand in the corner, kind of dodge around. I don't see anything stopping us here. Uh, okay, that was a really sneaky, just like spies versus mercs into my ear. Uh, that's mom's contact. Holy shit! We we have now freezing super high damage. Mom's knife, monster Manuel, bum friend, rainbow baby. Uh, this is insanely good. I guess I want to take Monster Manuel in this situation, for now at least. Uh, let's make our way onwards here. Uh, so we should be able to freeze every enemy that we come across. Well, not every enemy, but we have a chance to freeze every enemy that we come across. Oh, and we've got a little bit of a frame rate issue here. Probably because the game is like, holy shit, did we, are we doing this properly? Like, he seems to be very, very strong by this point in the game compared to the norm. Um, yes, Gertie is going to get frozen and then straight up ganked in like two seconds. Okay, now I'm a little concerned because I can see my spirit hearts, which is indicative of how terribly I have played recently. Oh, great. Look at this. It's actually a surprisingly okay upgrade for right now. Um, frame rate just died for a second there. I'm not sure if Mom's Contact has some kind of like reductive effect on it or something, a deleterious effect on the game's frame rate. But yes, let's try not to be as bad as I've been being. Because it's still possible I could lose this run. Uh, po poison bombs, they're A-OK. -okay. We can still see what's going on here. Famine does not concern me. War concerns me. Oh my god, I can't tell if he's going to start moving again any second now. Okay, now he's going to chase us. I wonder if Famine can hit him. Freeze him! Freeze him! Oh my god, he still managed to hit me. That was a weird dodge that I had to do there. We're still good. If I take one Spirit Art per room by way of the Miter, I should still get enough health back to uh, make this Isaac fight a, a definite possibility, if not an inevitability. Uh, but certainly this has been one of the worst chest runs I've had in a little while, especially given the amount of damage that I had. But again, it's a testament to the quality of the drops so far that this hasn't actually uh, caused me to super choke yet. Death card is fine. We'll be able to use that on the next room to hopefully simplify things. Oh, it's not necessary. Okay. So we'll get that going there. Okay, we really, really should not lose this. It would be remark- I'm just going to tank the shots. I'm going to stand right next to it and just mash on the left button. It would be unprecedented if we managed to fail at this point. Uh, so we'll just keep this going. And, uh, yeah, we only took, like, two hits. That's the end of this fight. As long as we can kill these angel fetuses. All right, so as always, uh, thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed the Twitch chat on the right side there. I hope you enjoyed it on Twitch. I'm going to be back to do another Isaac run, but I am just going to quickly end this. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. As always, continue suggesting your challenge runs. Let me know how you feel about these live uh, Twitch times as, or Twitch games as well. Uh, and uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you guys next time. If you're watching on Twitch, 
at twitch.tv slash northern lion. I will see you guys uh, momentarily, I suppose. Be back in a second.